there, I'm Ilana from Life Well Cruised and today what we're going to do is we're going to be going over 10 things that you're going to want to pack in your cruise carry-on. Uh, because what happens on the first day of your cruise is after you bring your luggage to the cruise porters, they're going to take your luggage away, but you're going to have um, a good few hours until your luggage is delivered to your stateroom. So I want you to be able to enjoy that first day of your cruise. So that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm Ilana from the blog and website Life Well Cruised, where we help thousands of cruisers get ready for their cruise every month with our cruise tips. Now, I've worked in the industry for over a decade, and I've been on over 20 cruises myself. So these are some tips that are from me and my family and as well from our community. Now, if you do like these tips, please go ahead and uh, don't forget to like the video down below. That just kind of lets me know um, if this is information that you want, if you'd like more like this. And of course, you can leave a comment as well. I would love that. So let's get started on these tips. Today, what I'm going to be doing is talking to you about um, what to bring in your cruise carry-on bag. Because what is going to happen when you um, arrive for your cruise ship is you're going to have your luggage. However, your luggage won't be delivered to your cabin until several hours after you arrive on your cruise ship. So uh, what you'll want to do is just have enough stuff in your cruise carry-on bag, basically for everything that you would need for that first day of your cruise for embarkation day. So let's get started with those tips. Um, the first thing that you need, and it really is the most important thing, are your passports or your government ID. And so that I actually keep in my purse, like really on my person. I even keep those in my family. Um, but you just wanna keep that really, really close. Something else you wanna have is your cruise documentation. So um, any set sale passes, um, online check-in information, just have that with you, have it on hand, because whether you are coming in by taxi because you've just flown in, or if you are driving into the cruise port, uh, the security there is gonna ask for it. So make sure you have your passport and your cruise documentation uh, with you on hand. Uh, something else that you would need for your cruise after that is basically everything that you'll need to enjoy the day. So something uh, that we always make sure that we have is our pool wear. If we're going on a Caribbean cruise, oftentimes once we've had some lunch after we've arrived um, on the ship, we're maybe going to want to hang out by the pool. So we want to have our bathing suits, um, flip-flops, cover-ups, those kind of things. So make sure that you have that um, with you in your cruise carry-on bag. Number four, something that is really important is if you are taking any medication. So of course, if you're taking prescription medication, very important to have that with you. Um, that's very important, but even something like ibuprofen. So like sometimes I might get a headache, you know, especially with all the excitement of the day, or I didn't sleep a lot the night before, make sure that you have a little bit of Advil, um, you know, or whatever you take, keep that uh, with you. Number five, um, any jewelry or valuables that you have, don't pack them in your suitcase. Instead, keep them on your person. So maybe like in your handbag or in your carry-on if you want, but keep it really, really close. If you did bring any valuables, you don't need to, but sometimes people um, may like to bring some jewelry for the formal nights or a special watch to wear. So if you do, just make sure that you do have that on you. Number six, so remember to bring some toiletries for during the day. Perhaps you woke up early and you're gonna wanna brush your teeth or refresh deodorant or anything like that. Um, maybe you wanna keep a little bit of makeup with you in case you don't get your bag until much later and you wanna be able to do you know, your makeup for the evening time uh, before your bags come. So think about your toiletries as well. Number seven, and these of course are in no particular order, um, but when you're getting on the ship on a lot of cruise lines, they're gonna allow you to bring wine or even champagne. So if you do plan to bring that, then definitely bring it in your carry-on. So don't really pack it in your suitcase. Um, cruise lines prefer it to be uh, in your carry-on. I prefer that as well, because I always think, what if they throw my luggage and then you know the wine breaks all over my clothes? So do keep your wine in your carry-on bag. Number eight. 
Something else in, um, in light of spending the day on the ship and what you might need for that first day, if you plan on spending time by the pool, or even if you don't, but you think you're gonna spend time outside, do remember your sunscreen. And I like to bring lip balm as well because my lips tend to burn, but definitely bring the sunscreen. Um, just something to mention, the sun really, even when you're at port, is really hot, like against the, the water, it reflects. And I don't know what it is, but we get burned um, more on a cruise ship than we do even when we're on the beach. So definitely remember to bring your sunscreen for the first day of the cruise. Number nine, something else that you'll want to bring is any kind of tech stuff. You want that to stay on you. You don't want to put that in your suitcase. So nothing valuable, nothing tech. Um, so sometimes we might bring a laptop. Other people might bring um, an iPad. Um, we also like to bring a portable charger with us. So maybe to charge our phones. I also have a teenage son. So when he's with us, we tend to kind of need to charge our phones a little bit. So we do bring that. Um, and something else that I'm going to mention is um, in your cabin, most of the time cruise cabins don't have a lot of outlets to charge everything um, that we all have, especially if you're more than a couple of people in your cabin. So we always bring um, a cruise approved um, extra outlet um, sort of device. So bring that with you. I would suggest I'll leave a link down to it in the bottom and just make sure that you're not bringing like a power bar from home that has a surge protector because that we can't bring on a cruise. So it is a special power bar specifically made and approved by cruise ships. So I will link uh, that below, but that might be something that you want to bring and keep in your carry on bag. So if you do need to charge any items that first day uh, that you can do that. Number 10, you'll probably want to bring a change of clothes in your carry-on bag. So what might happen is maybe you've flown in early that morning or you've driven in early that morning and you want to refresh your clothes once you get into your cruise cabin. That's a possibility. Uh, but something else that can be is just that you do want to refresh or even um, I've heard of people just not getting their luggage very soon and they're ready to go for dinner. And this way you don't have to stress out about when is my luggage here? So you have an extra change of clothes. So I like to bring something extra. You might want to do that too. So I hope this list of um, 10 things that you'll want to put in your cruise carry-on bag has been helpful for you as you prepare for your cruise. Um, if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me to know um, what is helpful, what you want to see, what I can create more content um, on. So I really do appreciate that. And as well, leave me a comment below. Let me know what else you think should be uh, in a cruise carry-on bag. And maybe that'll help some other people as well because your information is also super valuable. So I appreciate that. So if you like this, don't forget to also subscribe, share with a friend, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Um, we are on Facebook at Life While Cruise and on Instagram. So if you would like to connect, I'd love to see you there. And I look forward to chatting with you next time. Happy cruising.